So we've got a bit of a mini mailbag today. I've got a few bits that have come in and some bits that I sort of found in the mountain of stuff which exists just over there. So I was having a bit of a tidy up. It's been a while since I've done that. And I found quite a few things that I should be talking about or showing you at least. Um, and I bought them over a period of time. So nothing here will be new. Well, apart from one thing, there is one thing that's new and it's not this one. Ah. It's this one, this one here, I think. Oh, it's got a pull tab. I don't need to uh, to use the Stanley knife. <laughs> so I put something on my wish list. Let's come in a bit closer for this one. I put something on my wish list a little while back and someone picked it up, which is really nice of them. So thank you very much. Does it include a note? There's no note to say who it came from, unfortunately, but thank you very much to whoever picked this up. And it is a kit. You can probably read it there. It says Protopic Lighthouse Flashing and Resistors. So this is a lighthouse kit. I'll put a little picture up on the screen so you can see it. I won't take it out of the packet now, but it looks like it is a little LED flasher using a couple of, tra couple of resist, speak David, a couple of transistors. Um, so, just like a flip-flop, I think, but we'll find out at some point. So thank you very much. So we've got a new kit. I mean, I've got three now that I need to make. So what's next? Well, the next stuff is all related, I think. I haven't opened it yet, so I'm not entirely sure, but I think they're all related. Oh, I seem to have uh, broken into the inner sleeve, but not through the bubble wrap. There we go. So this is a single battery. I bought this off eBay, so that's why it's in. They've cut this thing in half because there were two batteries in here. But what drew me to it is this claim here. So this is a nickel metal hydride battery and it claims it's 5,500 milliamp hours. That doesn't really ring true with me. So I thought we'd test it out. And I should have bought some other batteries. I don't remember what they are, so let's have a little look. Yes, some other batteries. These are AAA batteries that claim they are 3,600 milliamp hours. <laughs> Again, that's a bit of a spurious claim, potentially. I don't know, we'll test it. We're gonna test it, but these are nickel metal hydride AAAs. So we've got one AA, which is 5,500 milliamp hours, and one AAA, which is 3,600. So they must be using some pretty impressive chemistry. <laughs> I don't think that's probably gonna be real, is it? I also picked up some of these, oh, um, which are just fun little LED keychains. I thought we'd take a look inside. I don't think there's gonna be anything special about them. It doesn't say that there's a, there's any kind of uh, intelligence to them. I think it might just be a push button, but it'd be interesting to see what kind of cells are in there. Anyway, the reason I picked up these batteries is this. I have a couple of battery chargers that have arrived from Banggood. Now, this one is the BTC3100 and it's an intelligent charger. So it charges and discharges and will tell you how much has gone in to those batteries. Now, this one does nickel cadmium, nickel metal hydride and lithium ion batteries in various sizes, but I think the ones I'm most worried about, not worried, the ones I'm most interested in is 14500, which is your double A. I guess that one there is probably triple A, I don't know, um, and 18650. So we're gonna try this out, but not only that, but I got another one as well. So um, Banggood kindly supplied these to me. This one is the ISDT C4 smart charger. And I like the look of this one. Not much better than the BT C3100, but I like the screen. It looks really cool. And the whole point of this is because I, I have lots of batteries and my charger isn't brilliant. It is the, oh, I can't remember what it is. It's a good charger. Um, and it will tell me how much it puts into a battery, but knowing how much I can get out is a different story. And these ones do discharging. And that's what I'm mainly interested in. So with that in mind, I've picked up a bunch of batteries. So I've got these two. 
these two ones with uh, rather large values. But also I picked up an 18650. This is a Uniros one that was about three pounds. And this one is 2,400 milliamp hours capacity. Um, I think some batteries also state watt hours, don't they? But this one says 2,400 milliamp hours. So I think that's probably accurate. This is, Uniros is a fairly recognizable brand. So we'll test that out. I also picked up some Energizer Industrial. Now these aren't rechargeable batteries. Not all of these are the ones that I've picked up, but I thought we could see how much power is in one of these in comparison to some other ones. Now, what these are Mignon. I don't know what the battery chemistries all mean, but I picked up some of those. I also picked up some of the cheapest batteries I could find, and they were these Panasonic Zinc Carbon batteries. 69 pence I paid for those. They're very lightweight, so I don't imagine there's a lot of power in them. Um, and there's a best before date, but it's underneath the batteries apparently. So we'll, we'll look at the best before date of these things as well. I picked up some rechargeable batteries. These ones came from Lidl, or it might have been Aldi. I don't know, those both get mixed up in my head. But these say that they're 2,400 milliamp hours, and they come in some nice colors, so I like these. These were about five pounds, really cheap. Um, what else do we have? Oh, right, yeah. So there's some GP Ultras. These are alkaline batteries, so these should be fairly good. They're fairly weighty, so we'll see. These are brand new out of the packet. I did open the packet though, so sorry. Uh, you'll just have to believe me that they've been never been used. And I think these are the last ones that I'm gonna be uh, playing around with. These are Kodak Extra Heavy Duty. <laughs> Whenever you see heavy duty on a battery, just sort of assume that means it's gonna be rubbish. But these are, what kind of chemistry are these ones? Zinc chloride batteries. These were only a pound for 10 in comparison to these, which are 69p for four. So not quite sure what the pricing means. These are heavier, but then there are more of them. So <laughs> I don't know. It's gonna be fun finding out, isn't it? So I'll have to do like a separate video for these because I think it will take ages and ages to test out these batteries and graph it all up. But that's what I like this for. Look at that, it's got a graph thing on there, which is cool. So yeah, that's today's mini mailbag. I mean, post bag.